exception handling in Python. Uh, you, whatever in other programming language, you definitely have Kava C. C is very poorest in that way. C doesn't have any exception handling. What is exception? Exception is nothing but a, a, anything can happen in the programming. Whenever you are running, you press a keyboard, your RAM may out of order, your power may go off, uh, anything, your internet connection goes off, you, so anything unexpected happens, we call it exception. So exception, uh, how to handle exception, that is C doesn't have any good answer. So who are the good C programmers if you have to make, so the C only says that everything is good, okay, then you return zero. If anything not okay, say return one, return two, return three. Probably you are aware of in old C language in some of some of the C books, you see void main. You start with the void main. I think you have got it. You throw away those books because this is not the standard practice. Now everywhere you see you write your main, it should be int main. Now you might ask why sir it is working on void main and why it is int? Because int means it will return something. Okay. So, whenever it returns 0, that means your program uh, occurs, uh, your program worked uh, good, but if it is void, it will not return anything. So, it is a uh, practice, if you, if you follow the Dennis Rich's latest book or any good book on C, you see that everything uh, it is there, it is, it is not void main, it should be always int main. So, in your programming, you should, that is the return type. And from return type, you can debug your program. If it is return is nothing, you cannot debug when, when, which point it occurs. So Python is a great uh, 1990s developed. Java, Java also later comes in three four years later. I I think Java copied Python. I don't know. So if the Python is exception handling is ex exception because it is a runtime. It can occur on so not only on your PC. It can occur anytime and any machine. Though it is a virtual machine. Even the virtual machine crashes, that main machine may crashes. What will happen? The code. What is the running system? That exception handling is very, very vital. So, what is the difference between exceptions and error? Nothing much. Error, we generally call it more hard, like if, if the power error or CPU error, that cannot, generally cannot be handled that way. Exception is a softer term of uh, error, and you have to handle that exception in your program itself. The program that does not come out the blue screen. If you see uh, five, ten years back in Windows, you see sometimes the blue screen is coming, but nowadays Windows 10, you hardly see the blue screen coming because it's, it's all the errors is handled. So if it is handled, it crashed down. It will definitely crash down, but it will crash down uh, yeah, but smoothly. It will not crash down go to the blue screen. That is mean exception is not handled. In your uh, Unix also see, but seldom. So what are the exceptions? Well, I have already told exception means any kinds of error. You have to catch exceptions with the try catch block. Those who have already covered Java in the schools, they know what is exception handling is same here in, in uh, Python. And you have to formalize this state if, because whenever they try any error, if you think that error can come, so you have to put it in try block. And uh, if the exception is hand at one, the exception comes, you have to handle, then you have to write it in except block and anything finally you have to do, you must do this thing, then it is, has to be in finally block. So let us see the program, here it is, I think everybody has seen it, everybody has seen it, whenever you got the, in your Python trace back, you see which program, which line, it comes from the stack, uh, like you have zero, the zero division and you think, try to divide something. So it will be zero division error. It is a Python C name is error, but C doesn't. C just goes out. So, uh, but this is number of exceptions, array out of bounds exception. You have you, you have a say list. Uh, say it can have a you don't you don't have array, but if you have a list there, so if you have a four elements, if you want to uh, go for fifth element, it will give an exception. So this is a various types of exception already defined. You have to handle it. So here. The name of the exception comes from which code the exception is coming, it is from which module, which library, which line number that you need to show. Okay, so what is there? Python there are assertion also. I will come to that what is the assertion. You can you 
can generate exception from by by right within a program you can and exception handling will will be say it's a bit of event basically event driven because uh, right now we are working on mouse or you have a various calls are coming so basically your programming uh, is a basically event handling that python supports very well c doesn't okay so that's it so the go ahead i think this one is there this will be given so you can i have told you you can lay your exception in the code you can create your own exception that will come later uh, here what is exception is an event which occurs during the execution of code like divide by 0 a uh, list out of it take that is that's a normal flow of the program program immediately halts and then program look for whether you have written in your code an exception handler routine because all the exception are defined no exception maybe hundreds are defined so if you if the program sees an exception happen so you have to write it in a try block and in the except block you have to write what to be handled uh, So it is an unexpected like an error. However, not all exception are error. Okay, that will come. The error occurs. Exception is fixed. When exception occurs, Python stops whatever it is doing. Goes to the last seen exception handler. That is always the top and main exception handler. That is one that gives well-known stack trace and all this. Now I will. I will we run the code. Don't worry. Uh, and nothing. Uh, it is this event notification. Nothing great. I just try to get. code yeah so this is important slide here any uh, statement which may think that it will it's like whenever you create a file in python maybe hard disk is a full uh, there it, so whenever you want to create a file in a python or anything with or you want to connect internet there may be internet not there so you have to always put this in a try block uh, try code try block you put your statement here and what are the exception happen can happen you have to write the, uh, what is the what is to be done there you have to foresee these things and you have to uh, and the, all the exceptions are defined you have to write this and if nothing happens even the code runs normally uh, everything must be done here so this is kind of a uh, you see everything have to be done here what is the purpose of it because when the statement goes out here the any statement after this will not be executed. any any points at this point statement 1 if this ex exception comes it will go out and it will be handled here if it cannot handle there no exception handling there then it will come there and all the closing statement should be there like in, in your i can give it analogy in your c program whenever you take the program malloc and or calloc then you have to free those program in a finally block but the tree you see doesn't have so here also you can also say python has some garbage collection like java it will handle but if you do your finally block your program will run faster and better and you can you can free up your resources in finally block so finally is very important uh, these are the exception handler and remember anything you find uh, you have to put it in a try block except this okay so we'll we'll do this in our uh, experiment so here that i want to mention about it that it exception comes this line then you the statement to statement to of own bits so always there should be so if the statement an exception can be many times exception may is even it may happen it may not happen okay so you have to be very careful so if you think the statement three statement four must be executed it should be in your final report yeah there's another way say in a try block statement one statement Say an exception occurs here. Say here. Say it. It first match whether you have written it correct. If it doesn't match, it tries here. So you have to write many exceptions which are you are expecting. You have to write this. Okay, the code, 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 and then finally, if no execution occurs, here it will come after try block, whichever is coming, and it, it should be here a finally block. Say so any try block, anything which is not done, that can be done in a finally. So all this, the exception. Let's see some. Uh, these are the everything. Uh, so those who know Java and Python, everything is object. It's a base exception class. It's a derived class, exception class, and these are various kinds of arithmetic exception. 
environment exception like we say that generic cannot be handled by it, you cannot handle this thing, okay you can you can say shut down or something or you can take some preparation step in the file you can handle there's some errors uh, these are the standard uh, class hierarchy because everything is a uh, come from object like a java the java has copied this concept and even c++ also they have the same There is same thing, exception, keyboard, uh, arithmetic exception can have floating point. You can see it is a base class. Certain things are common, zero division error, exception, lookup, and all these things. Okay, lookup error comes whenever the least you have some out of index, waste error generally, permission error, all these things can be handled. So all are all these exceptions are already defined in Python. You have to just name it and do the what is what is to be done? You have to tell it. That's all. Okay. Now we, we run the code. Code. Okay. This is it. Just try run. This is the. What happened? Uh, see, we have a we have want to print y, but y we have not defined. So definitely an exception offer. So that is the exception. What is the exception? Name error. So you, you first you num to come to know this kind of exception a python error because y is not defined so what do i do i i will do it in a try block okay now because in a block i have to tab it step everything is visible no okay yes sir okay thank you anytime you please raise anything and anything you didn't understand, you can also tell. So I, I this because this, why I have not defined. So definitely the name error except will come. And whenever you do not handle in a try block, it will come come out of the program with force name and it will be undecent. We say uh, undecent. So try this right now. See how smooth is return. It definitely the exception, but it said an exception occurred. Because name error, I have already put. If there except any any exception comes, you come to there and print it up. So this is a nice way you come to know that uh, exception hand. So this is a that is the use of try and exit. In, in Java, it is called try catch. Just uh, they copied it. I think Java is it, and here it is called try exit. Those who have already Java try catch here it is try exit clause so anything you there's a doubtful you put it here so here say i i this pro code see here we could say try print x x is defined say i can accept name error variable is not defined so i try to say print j so let's see what happens j is not defined yeah say see j as the variable is not defined, but what except clause it will come to the name error. So except it will handle name error. So it says that print variable x not is defined. And because it is except for then it will come out. It will not be executed because it is handled only one of them. You you have a like switch case. You have several except clause, only one of them will be handled, not all. And if you want that something to be handled finally, then you have a finally block. I think uh, I repeat one thing like here, J is not defined, so definitely name error comes. If we take it out, tree, uh, uh, try and accept the original thing, name error will come, but it says softly that variable X is not defined, uh, so it comes out. And if we write it here as a print J, if we write it print hello. So this should not be printed. Let's check. Yes, it is not printed. Why? Because it comes out from here. So this statement is not printed. Okay. So that is the thing. Uh, whatever you put it, it it's J is not defined. So it go out and it executed here. Fine. So 
let's see what about this this code yeah i nothing is problematic but i put it in try block because it is no problem so except clause is not handy okay so but else clause so else clause is comes where where nothing if error happens exception then you must put it in else clause and another is finally i'll come to that so else will be printed nothing went wrong okay so that's it now this thing will come so here yeah so i write it here uh, print w is not defined okay so let's see what happens yeah w is not defined so something so this except should be handled something went wrong and after this finally print the print try except is finished so this uh, whatever you write in finally block it will be always printed and you can have multiple except clause it, it will be handled uh, and else clause means if no exception then else clause and finally is always like Uh, these are the exception variables. I say I this I am initialize at least one, two, three, and then I want to be uh, I want to raise the fourth element. See the exception will come. In error of second element. See here is easy list. I initialize it one, two, three, and these two know zeroth element, first element, second element. The second element means uh, this will be printed out. Two will be printed out, but if i want to keep a3 that means i have 0 1 2 3 nothing is there so exception will come so when exception will come you can put it except plus and error of if we if we do not write it say if you do not write it then the say you put it take it out the try catch block what will happen let's see take it out then I have to indentation must go off because I forget about this thing indentation except I because, because no try block I should not have except yeah then write try the code yeah see here this exception is not handled so this is an exception name indentation error for indentation error I have done some wrong Python is very particular. Now, this time, yeah, let's see. Yeah, now say it now also indentation comes. It is not required. Now, run the code. See here, this exception is list index out of range. So, this exception is here, fourth element shows where the exception handles index error it's called error is called index error and this is a description so various kind of exception it is there and there okay so today uh, you please go for exception handling and any doubt